We hope you enjoyed the Alien Genetics Lab. Let's take a closer look at genetics, DNA, and gene characteristics. You now know that our appearance results from the genes that we inherit from our parents. Our DNA is a combination of traits from both parents. We'll start by going over DNA. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the genetic blueprint of all living organisms, including some viruses. It is made up of four nucleotides, guanine, adenine, thymine, and cytosine. DNA is organized into a double helix formation, which forms the chromosome. DNA contains genes, which are molecular units of heredity that we inherit from our parents. The genes are located in the chromosomes of each cell and are responsible for how we look and even how we act. A German monk, Gregor Mendel, was the first person to experiment and study genetics. In the mid-1800s, he experimented by cross-pollinating green and yellow pea plants. He found that after the first generation, the yellow trait of the plants completely dominated their appearance. He repeated the experiment several times until he had consistent results that showed a 3 to 1 ratio of yellow to green pea plants. In this experiment, Mendel learned that traits that organisms inherit can either be dominant or recessive. Mendel also learned that the inheritance of these genes passes down unchanged from the parents to the offspring. While Gregor Mendel experimented with pea plants, his results became applicable to all organisms. We inherit dominant and recessive genes from our parents. Dominant genes will always show. However, if an organism receives two recessive genes for one trait, then that trait will be recessive. In other words, a dominant gene will always show unless there is no dominant gene. Some common recessive genes in humans include blue and green eyes, red hair, and attached earlobes. Some common dominant genes include brown eyes, dark hair, unattached earlobes, and double jointed appendages. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you gain a better understanding about genetics and genes. When you go home, see if you can identify similar traits between you and your parents.